you can see here's the gas tank right here and right here is the tube that's the hose that goes all the way to the carburetor this is the bowl of the carburetor um, here's the primer so here's the inlet and everything from the air box this is the air box but you can see that this tube right up here goes all the way to the back of that carburetor so that's what we're going to take off so we can drain that gas okay so I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and loosen this up so I can get at that hose I'm gonna pull that hose out I just have a little old margarine container and I'm going to take this slip that clamp off Set this off. Let that run out. Bada boom, bada bang. Just letting it fill up and catch some of this cast off here. Now, if you're lucky enough to have clips here, first thing you want to do is take that cap off because that's going to create a vacuum. It's not going to let it come out. But if you can take off the tank like so, you can just let the thing drain out. No problem. Put the cap back on, set it aside, make sure you don't lose it. So gas tank is gone. Here's the old gas line. This is that connection I was talking about. A lot of times from the factory you'll get some junky connections. I actually put this one on later. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to work with. You can use it more than once. Okay, now down here, here's where the, where the blade attaches. And right here, right there, is where we're gonna drain our oil from. I'm gonna make sure to get that drained. I got a three quarter inch wrench. Put that on there, and I'm going to go ahead and <coughs> turn that once. I got my drip pan underneath there. Boom. Let that drain out. Cleaner you get it. Easier it is when you get inside the engine, so let it go.